Okay, so one of our basic blocks are called chin chi sao. It's a cutting block. Um, and most blocks, most of these kind of blocks can be internal, external. In other words, it can be a really slamming cutting block. Um, the same motion can also be very soft. And depends on your personality, <laughs> depends on your build, your physique, what you like, what you pull to. But as you refine, you tend to soften your blocks up. Yeah? Um, even if you get strong and your cutting blocks can be really punishing. But this also works with the 45. Okay? So learning that 45 degree angle is um, really basic. But the chin chi sao comes up to the shoulder. It just folds. Okay? You can see how the hand just, just lifts and folds, very relaxed. And then the whole arm rises and it cuts 45 degrees from the shoulder out. And our basic lineup is second finger, second line, eye level. So you need to develop that. And it's just, it's like a wave. It's, it's like you're picking your hand up and waving. Sometimes when you tell people it's just a wave, they, they get the move much easier. So chin chi sao, open hand, right? Thumb is open, all the fingers are open, not overly stiff but open, not closed, not relaxed, no slack, just open. Okay. So first part is just looking at the block itself. Okay. So again, the shoulders just, shoulder blade, shoulders are down, relaxed, elbows relax, and just folds and picks up close to the body. And, and from about here, then the whole arm starts picking up, rising, and then it cuts 45 degrees across. Do the other side, same thing. 45 degrees across. Coming out, 45 degrees across. 45 degrees across. So elbow is here, you can see the edge, the small finger is a little bit outside, right? It's not straight up and down. There's a slight angle coming out. If um, from here, you can see those nice angles, the angulation coming out. Now the other thing is when you wave here, my palm is face 45 degrees. So, in other words, the, the edge, right, the blade of my hand, the bone is going to cut 45 degrees into the oncoming attack coming this way from here. So just looking at, at here. Okay, don't worry about leg, don't worry about turning, that's going to come, that has to come. Okay, so, so just learning how to pick that up, naturally swing it out. Right from beginning, right? when you come here, finish the move all the way down. So up, turn the palm down, drop the hand so it drops down. Out, guide. And this is how I used to practice. From here, I guide my hand down. You can see it's away from the body, and then I'd finish. So I guide the hand down because from the block, I'm I'm trying to teach myself where is my hand position for a hand grab. Okay? And that's a lesson in itself. But if you get this form down, then it'll be easier to, to teach how to catch, catch and lock the hand. And then other things will come. So practice left hand. Practice right hand. Okay? And then eventually you have to add speed into it or just swings. And in the fatka, we're, we're taught the finger, fingertips, just the fingertips on the inside of the elbow. And after a while, sometimes the hand, your timing is such that the checking hand helps actually throw this hand over, add some momentum. But you don't want to be overly pushing the hand over. It just adds and slides with it. The weight of the hand coming down helps to throw this hand out. Okay, so get your height, get the basic form first. Now once you do that, you need to learn to turn 45. So, turning, shifting. 
we'll break down the feet in, in another video, another section. But learn to turn 45 looking to the front. So as this hand rises, you're folding into the pelvic okay? and you're turning. So because it's training, you really, you should be practicing your sliding, your full horse, your full training horse, heel on the ground. The lineup is about heel and toe, or toe to heel, it slides. Okay, that's the distance, it's out here. Waist turns 45. Okay? Learn to turn the waist and the feet, the leg and the feet follow and the hands swing. So, as I talked about in the Mopunjong, you turn, the hand makes a smaller circle, makes a smaller travel because you're shifting. Now this is just sliding. So the block, right, this is an inside block, well, it can be inside, outside. It's a more external block we're practicing right now. You're, you're practicing your form, you're practicing speed, you're practicing alignment. You should be able to hold a pretty strong force coming in. If the body is aligned properly, if the shoulder is down, shoulder blades are down, elbow lined up over the knee, knee lined up over the toe and not past. Okay? This hand comes out at an angle, it's cutting with the blade, turning the body a little bit. Okay? And you should be catching somewhere over here if you train with a partner. Okay? You're going to end up, as you refine, you'll start catching right about here, somewhere right around here. Okay? So this is just turning, sliding, when you, when you first practice, practice with the full horse. Practice with your full mapu. Develop your mapu at exactly the same time. It's sliding. Learning how to swivel and slide. And repetitious. So, hands right here. So sometimes you might hear the hands sliding, they might be tapping. You don't want to be whacking. It's not a hard strike. It's just right here. So standing, right? Break it down, just the block. Then add your horse. And then it's, it's like a Chinese menu. You take, you take your mapu, right? And you overlay it, everything else you're doing. So learn, learn, to, um, learn to step up. Learn to slide and shuffle. Learn to um, just pivot without sliding right, from the low horse. Really, really fast and tight. Um, if you're in a tight area, if you're cornered, if you're around a lot of people, you don't have room to step out. Right? This is a really fast punch and learn to pivot so that you're rolling actually against the block. Okay. If I stop here, right, I, I might have a hard time holding it if it's tight. Right? So I want to open this out. And opening this out will um, pull the other persons out farther here. So they, you're, you're trying to get them to overextend. Yeah? Rather than allowing them to be tight like this, you're trying to stretch out the punch. Ideally, if I step to the side, so right, I could step here, 45, coming from this step, step here, and then turn and cut, cut into the block, or step chin chi sao and pivot right on, right on their arm so their arm doesn't fly away, so their, their arm keeps traveling in a straight line. It's still a cutting block, but it becomes softer because it's pivoting. As you turn, right, you're rolling, you're helping their momentum to go that way. Right? So from here, you can slide this hand and you can do applications or whatever you want to do. So chin chi sao. So chin chi sao coming out and cutting block. 
we would generally say this would be a more external block. But if you pivot correctly, it can be a soft block. So Fatka is internal, external. See? Now the opposite of going out is coming in. So Chin Chi Sao coming up from the center, dropping the shoulder and folding. And this is a little harder to explain on video without a partner. And so this would be considered the internal, right? but same thing, this could be a hard, a hard block coming up whacking, or it could be a soft block that rides the punch. And um, it can be catching inside or it can be catching outside. Okay? So you're facing me, right? you throw your left hand at me, I pick up my hand, and I drop it down. And instead of cutting with the outside of the blade, I cut with the inside. And I want to shift my weight. So when we learn the Chin Chi Sao, you uh, want to make the shift of weight very obvious. So we'll tend to step. So picking up the hand, stepping. And again, turning my waist. Right? A nice large learning movement. Okay. Now this one, I don't step up. <laughs> step up, going to step into, going to step into the punch. So step to the side, fold, learn to shift my weight. Okay. Second finger, second line, eye level. Right. I'm, I'm cutting here. The angle of the hand, again, is at an angle into the oncoming, oncoming punch. And train the hand to just rest here, right? Not floating out here, rest here lightly against the body. Okay looking straight. So up and shift. Okay. Up and shift. If I take a big step, I can have the shuffle. If I'm training uh, my, my training horse, big step, right, sink. This one takes a little bit more refinement. So you really want to, um, you really have to practice with somebody and get somebody to, to adjust you and, and fix you. It's not quite as straightforward. The, the external um, swinging outward chin chi sao tends to be, tends to be a little bit, um, uh, just more straightforward to, to look at, to study, to, to understand. The inside is really subtle. Yeah. So when I was learning, uh, my teacher would catch catch with just this chin chi sao, okay? it would feel really soft. And when I would do it, it would just, I'd just be whacking. And I asked him, I said, am I doing it right? You know, I just felt so confused. Like, His is so soft, mine is so hard. And he said, no, no, you, you're doing the form right. right? You're, doing it, you're doing it correct. And as I studied, I realized he's refined, right? So as soon as he feels you, he's just sinking and riding you in. Okay? Or, I'm not refined as a beginner, I'm just whacking, right? I'm just powering that block. They're both correct, depends what you like, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish, your personality, and all of those, right? If you're just that heavy person bashing, then oh, that feels perfect to you. If you're lighter and you want to be soft, then learning how to ride will, will feel better. But if you're riding right, and you're not disrupting the other person, then as you reverse and um, you, you give out, you reverse and you give your strike or whatever, right? They're, just, they're going, they don't know where it comes from. Okay? But they both, they both work. So Chin Chi Sao can be very punishing, a cutting block, right? Cutting block this way. And when you're first learning, it's going to be more external. And when you do the power, right? Because you're going power against power, if your lineup, your alignment, um, your stance, your horse, if, you're, if your back is broken like this, and you're not sitting, you know, all of those things, you're, not, you're, you're too in, you're not out, power against power, you're gonna, it's gonna expose it. So you have to learn that block, external, okay? because that's gonna force you to correct all your posture, all your alignment. Okay? But as you correct your alignment and you get faster, you're gonna get more refined, and 
it's going to get softer and you're going to become much more upright. So this is just the block. So uh, another lesson we talked about, stepping up 45 degrees and shuffling. So you have to practice this type of shuffle. Okay. Just automatic if you step, you're shuffling. When you study, um, oh, when, when you, if you study Sun Lutang's Tai Chi, they, they, they emphasize that step. Right? And they'll say, Sun Style has a follow step. Okay? The follow step is a shuffle. So the shuffle is really important for a lot of reasons, but we won't get, get into that over here. Okay. So again, pick up the hand close to you, then it opens up, turn 45 degrees okay, to add your body. Training horse, this should slide all at the same time. This cuts at an angle. Right? I'm at an angle here, I'm looking front. Second finger, second line, eye level. Three fingers on the inside. Then the drill can become from here, this hand slides. So the next drill is you learn how to connect the hands, connecting hands. So the basic, you go to the next level, um, more continuous, add more leg, leg in. Um, and just to give one, one, basic, um, one basic application. Yeah, gotta, gotta give you something. <laughs> so from here, right, this hand is acting as a shield, right? If, if they palm you or punch you, at least you take it here. So that's one thing that's built in. But from here, you tend to like to bahawk or poke, so. And when you start doing it fast, you might lose this part here. Coming here might be too slow. So it might just start shooting out, but you can see it still travels here. It doesn't necessarily have to connect. You can already feel that connection as you're blocking, but it's starting to open, open up. So the strike. So block strike, right? Block punch, block whatever, block palm. Okay. So and talk about how you get that reach in. You can't just stand in one place. You have to step, you have to shift, you have to step up, you have to turn your body, step back. So all of those, um, all of those things you learn by other drills. Okay? So chin chi sao, chin chi sao out, chin chi sao in. So you hear us, well, um, one of the sets, jo yao, right? Jo yao chin chi sao. So left, right, chin chi sao. Jo yao chin chi sao. So in our set, you know, in one of the sets coming in, right? Jo Yao. Jo Yao Chin Chi Okay.